Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and more Tram Sim on console. The console edition has released today. So you might have seen the first look video earlier on. And uh, in that video I was running on the Vienna DLC. We'll call it DLC. It's actually, it was DLC wasn't it on, uh, on PC. Uh, it's part of the standard edition on console. So we were in Vienna. Uh, now for this second video we are over in Munich which is the other area or location within the uh, within the game on console edition and um, we're in the R 2.2 B tram this time so a little bit different to the flexity that you saw before uh, controls basically the same um, using the controller it operates exactly the same way um, but the screen is different I always have trouble with the screen you saw it in the first video if I just press triangle in fact, before I do that, let me do the step that I always forget. It's 7 a.m. in the morning, as you can see up there, 7 or 1. What I need to do is just pick a timetable service. So we will do... This one is 7 or 3. Starting at 7 or 3 from where we are, let's enter that and go back to the game. What we should see now is it's put the service in. Uh, you can see the service is due to start in two and a half minutes. So that is it's all seven or three. It's counting down there up in the top right hand corner. So this screen is much easier to use. You can see our first stop is Gartenstrasse at seven or four. Uh, and over on the right hand side it's telling us Gartenstrasse is 300 meters away. So just in case it does take you off the wrong way. <laughs> it shouldn't do because I'm using simplified... Um, assists which basically one of those is that all the points are set for you on the track so it shouldn't take you the wrong way now um, that distance counter if you are setting the points yourself is handy because you know if you've gone the wrong way you can if you're getting further away from your next destination that's probably what you've done you've gone the wrong way and you'll need to get out and, and back it up a little bit so less than less than a minute and a half to go We'll probably set off slightly before 7.03 and we'll go to our first stop. But you can see that down the left hand side, that's our timetable. So stations will keep coming in from the bottom after Nordbad once we have uh, start ticking those off. I say we get ready to go. The tram's already set up for us. Uh, I didn't set it to cold start so it's all set up. Let's set off, let's get to our first stop, and we'll have a look at Munich. It's a nice summer's morning. I have got it on sunny. I've started it on sunny, but I've put the weather on dynamic. So the weather could change along the route. But I think this is about this is about 20 minutes, I think, this route. But there's some good long stretches in the uh, in the Munich route, so. gives us a chance to have a good run, which is what I always like to do. So we'll stop there, get the doors open. Over this side we've even got a shell garage, look at that. In the first video I did notice a McDonald's, so there must be, you know, there must be certain licensed uh, premises or, or companies in the game, because, uh, yeah, that's a familiar sight. Let's look in the mirrors, let's see what's happening. Uh, everybody's on board so let's press square so the green light comes on when all the doors are locked so now we can just carry on to the next station let's have a look Ackermannstrasse is next in 500 meters so let's hope in this video but all the announcements stay with the correct stations. Should do. Should do. This is Ackerman Strasser. You see what I mean? You get you get a chance to get some speed up on the Munich route. I I've played a little bit of both. Both both Vienna and Munich. I have to say right now, at this stage, I think I prefer Munich for some reason. This tram actually is quite nice to drive. The R2.2B. They're all quite easy to drive. 
Let's just lock the doors because we've got a green signal. But this one accelerates quite well. I think we've got a door open there. Let's close that. Lock the doors. We're still on green. People are crossing the track there, but we're still on green. Anyway, we'll keep going. I've picked this service um, at this time in the morning because I wanted to see, you to see the, the, the lighting. The lighting looks pretty good to me. Just as we're coming into that sun there, you can see the, uh, the shine there off the rails, which is always quite nice to see. Uh, we've got another red light. Uh, there's plenty of AI on the road as well. And the AI is crossing our path at certain points. So as I said in the first video, be careful because you can collide with these cars. I don't think it I don't think it does any you know, it it doesn't do any damage. Uh, any physical damage. But you can collide with cars. Uh, and it will give you a penalty for that. It will knock you a few points off. So I'm just accelerating up. I don't know what the official speed is down this centre bit. This this bit is just for trams. So I imagine you can go a little bit faster here. So I just wanted to show you the acceleration there. I'll probably stick to uh, no more than 40, 30 or 40, I think, in this section. Because uh, we have these frequent red lights. The signalling in the Munich side of the game is slightly different as well uh, to Vienna but um, it's not too much different the, the basics of it are the same if you've learnt it on Vienna you'll be able to you'll be able to run it on Munich no problem so the traffic I've got a green light on the right but the tram hasn't yet we're waiting for that little white line there to turn vertical and then we can go, there it goes, so we can now go, and the next stop is just here. Let's just see if people are getting on and off. So once again, once people get off, you see the doors automatically close themselves when people have finished boarding and uh, disembarking. Then all you need to do, back in the cab, once that's done, just press square and once you get the green light on the dashboard, all the doors are now interlocked so you can carry on again. So that's what you're looking for in this, in this tram. Got punctuality bonus again. Uh, we've got a green light here, so let's just double check. We're due in at, uh, we're due in at, at 08, and it is 08 now, so we're, we're bang on time at the moment. So this is what I mean, some good distances. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, I can't stop in time. Let's go. <laughs> There's some good distances between the stops, actually. I think that was the right thing to do. I would have ended up in the middle of the road, I think, which would have caused us some problems. Here's another red. You see people crossing ahead of us. Let's have a look. We are due at Nordbad at 08, so we're actually a minute behind now. We may catch some of that up, though. But uh, what I meant to say in the first video as well is that uh, for both Vienna and Munich there are several different routes within each location as well. So you're not just running the same route each time. There is some variation. So there's plenty to do. As well as trying to beat your own score each time. Or you could do a points challenge. Now, depending when this video goes out, I am doing a points challenge with the British Ace. Um, and you will find a link to that video on my channel. 
he's shown it on his channel but we did a we did a pre-recorded points challenge so i won't give away any spoilers and go over and check that out that was a lot of fun This is the PS5 version, and I've got to tell you, it runs really well. So look over the far right hand side now for the signal. You can see another McDonald's there. Look at that. Are McDonald's really licensed? I'm not sure at all, you know. So here we go, we got the signal to turn left. This is Nordbad. It's actually easier to see at these stops as well which stop you actually had. Do you remember in the first video I had to keep getting out to try to look where we actually were just to double check we were in the right place. You can actually see it on approach here, which is uh, which is a bit easier. Let's just double check. Kurfenstenplatz is next. So as the doors close, these are the door lights. As the doors close, these lights go out and then we get the green to say they're all closed and we've got the lock so then we can continue signals permitting so this is about 35 kilometers per hour got a green there over on the right we've also got traffic ahead of us as well on our actual line so we need to be careful we are stopping at this uh, bus stop anyway, but just keep an eye on that. There we go. And we can look in the mirror as well. As well as going to the outside view, we can look in the mirror, see who's getting on and off. And make sure we're not shutting the doors on anybody. There's just one door still open at the moment, so let's go to close that. Okay, that's good. Oh, wouldn't you know it, as soon as we set off, the light changes to a red. <laughs> but it gives us a chance to look where we're going. We're going to Elizabeth Platz next. And so we're due there at 12, so we're nearly two minutes over. So the timings, um, the timings are pretty strict, because we left what thirty seconds early when we started out. They're quite, they're quite strict, but it depends what speed you need to go. I need to go back and consult the uh, user manual for Munich to see what the correct speeds are on those grassy areas that we, you know, we first were running down. I think in this on-road section where we're mixing with the other vehicles, I think we've to go no more than 30. But on the sections that are just tram only, I think we can go a lot faster. So I just need to double check what that is. So, I mean, I don't know if it gives you a penalty for speeding. We're doing 40 now. I don't know if it gives you any penalties. Certainly nothing, you know, nothing pops up to say you're, you're getting minus points or anything like that. So you can effectively, you know, bomb it the whole way around if you want to. So are we stopping here? I don't think we're stopping here at this one. So, so here's an interesting junction. You can see the points. You can see the arrow pointed to the right. So the point that's that's Elizabeth Platz over there. So. The points are set in the correct direction. We've got two signals at the top. The one above the K is the one that we want because we're going to the right. 
but there is a signal there showing to the left hand side as well so we can ignore that one just look for the one that's got the arrow as soon as that changes to a vertical or because we're turning to the right pointing to the right direction that means we can go it's quite a busy junction actually that one if you look carefully with all the tram lines and the actual road vehicles crisscrossing each other this is Elizabeth Platz. So let's check how we're doing. Nordenstrasse is next, 7.13. So again, we're dropping further behind. Get these doors closed. Once again, we've got the sunlight pouring in down the street. That's what I wanted to show you. I think that looks pretty good. I haven't done a run in the rain yet. But I have seen footage of it in the rain. It looks good in the rain too. This is our next stop. Paper over there, McDonald's and McPaper. I think that's everybody in. Let me go back to the cab. Lock these doors, the signal's on red. But we shouldn't have to wait too long. You're gonna get, I mean, you're gonna be less punctual because of the lights. There are quite a lot of lights, a lot of junctions you need to cross, so naturally you're gonna, you know, you're gonna lose some time. That's why, you know, it's nice to follow this, but I wouldn't get too hung up about it. You can also, you know, you can try and beat your personal best the next time you do it. Hopefully, we should get a green right now. There we go. Let's just double check. So we've got Schellingstrasse. Then we've got one, two, three. I think we've got about four, four stops after this one, and that'll be the end of this route. But what do you guys think of it so far? Have you picked it up? Did you pick it up straight away? Did you go for the pre-order discount, or were you waiting for some of this footage first? I know you've been able to watch some of the footage on PC, but I guess that doesn't always translate to what it's going to look like on the console, but actually, you know, certainly on the PS5, it, it runs really nicely. I've not spotted too much wrong at all, actually. It looks quite good. And uh, I think you're going to have a lot of fun playing it. to add some more DLC to this at some point. So DTG is just publishing it, they're not developing it. So they're not in total control. But once again, you know, if this can be popular on the consoles, then, uh, you know, who knows? A bit like Train Sim World, it's got potentially quite a bit of potential, hasn't it?
just to go beyond Vienna and Munich. Right, let's lock the doors because nobody else is getting on. We'll just wait for the signal. Caroline and Blatz is next, and that is in 460 meters. It's nice how you can hear the ambient noise, you can hear the passengers chatting. When you're out stood on the street as well, there is a lot of street noise. I like how that has been added, just to give it a little bit more, you know, authenticity. waiting for us. Some of these shadows are quite good. I have got a problem at all with the way it looks. Okay, so the doors are starting to close, which is good. ready to go so there's the signal uh, the other thing that is worth telling you is that there is no multiplayer on this uh, I don't think there's any plans to have a multiplayer I did see a couple of comments on my uh, pre-order video that I did a few weeks back uh, asking about multiplayer but as far as I understand there's no plans to do that at all Oh, and there was a collision with the car. Did you see that? <laughs> now, I had a green signal then, so he should have been giving way. So that will definitely dock me some points. But you see what I mean about the damage? It's literally a collision, and that's it, and then you carry on. You know, there's no, there's no cars going hurtling across the road or anything like that. I was probably going a little bit fast, to be fair. I was breaking my own rule of saying I was going to do about 30 on the actual streets. Nobody else getting on, so we'll close those. Let's just check where we are. So we've got Karlsplatz, and then we're at Sendlinger, which is our uh, final destination. Let's just close these. Right, I think this one is stuck. So you press sir. The front door you can open independently of the rear ones. So open and close that one with circle if you're on PlayStation. And then of course once that's shut you can lock the doors again. So let's just look this time that nobody's coming. Going across this roundabout. Yeah, so, so Munich, out of the two, Munich is my favourite. The announcements are pretty good, actually. It's a nice touch. was handy. Here's the stop. So this is the penultimate stop. Plenty of people using this service, which is quite nice to see. Lock 
the doors. All right. Now she should tell us that this is the terminating station. So when all the announcements stay in sync with where you actually are, that's quite nice, isn't it? So everybody knows now that this is all change. And potentially what you could do, as I just beat that signal, potentially what you could do is, uh, is jump out and uh, go back the other way and run the return service or you can end it which is what we'll do uh, and then you can just get your points and see how you did so we're just waiting again there's two signals here one's going off to the right one's going to the left the one to the left now is green so we can go and this is our final station I keep calling it station is it a tram station or is it a tram stop maybe I've been playing TSW too long maybe everything's a station Do this last stop. We'll let everybody out. So we'll let everybody out because the points, uh, everybody that gets on is giving us more TSP or XP points. So I'll lock the doors. And then all we need to do is we need to just go back to menu continue and then we get our summary report so we got 303 tsp it took 27 minutes to do it if we look at the details we did five kilometers 11 perfect stops one accident which we saw <laughs> it's quite a kind of a big one wasn't it or it could have been uh 303 tsp as we said and it took us just over 27 minutes to uh to complete the service so i hope you enjoyed it hope you enjoyed that look at munich that's that's vienna and munich done now um i did put links at the beginning to the other video for for vienna so hope you've enjoyed it let me know what you think of uh, tram sim console take it easy i'll see you on the next one bye for now